So yesterday I released a video, or it was sometime today, I forget, it was like probably 2 a.m. Um, it showcased the performance on Linux, and that's the thing. Uh, I'm not going to be showcasing it on Linux this time. There was a comment from a user who says he doesn't have good performance on Windows. Now, that's not true. I have the same amount of performance on Windows uh, as anybody else really should or would because a lot of things have been fixed. So I'm going to just pop this out and we're going to take a look at the comment real quick here because it, it needs to be looked at right here. So he says it's not true because he has a YouTube channel. It's like saying, I own a computer store, so I know more about hardware than you do. That's freaking ridiculous. Um, every single game that I showcased in this video runs the same speed on Windows as it does on Linux. There is one very major problem that people do, and I blame myself and BSOD Gaming and a lot of other YouTubers that say, put threaded optimization on. Freaking don't do it. Your best bet is to go into program settings first off. Okay. We're going to hit add. I'm going to add an XQMU. All right. XMU. And we're going to go down to the very bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to turn this off. Okay. That's it. Now, if you want more GPU performance, you turn that on, but that's up to you. Another thing you can do to actually have better overall textures uh, you know, in the distance is, of course, to turn on filtering here. So let's prepare ourselves because uh, we're about to go through some titles and I'm not freaking talking this time. Screw it. I'm going to edit this thing. You guys are going to get to see the performance in all of its amazing glory. So prepare yourself. The PS4 controller has been turned on. Let's do this. First game we're covering, 007 Nightfire. Runs at 60 FPS on Windows, runs at 60 FPS on Linux. Yeah. Any snipers in the shadows will be much easier to locate. I know I said I wouldn't talk, but I literally can't help myself. One down. I missed. Wow. So as you can see, we're running at 60 FPS. Same location as last time. And the video's not going to be in order like it was before, I guess. Well, not the same amount of order. Um, and that's it. Okay, we're going to be moving on to going underneath this building. Where is he spotting me from? Oh. See him. Gonna shoot this guy right in the dick. That's for Linux. Okay, back to laser. Now, as you can see, the performance is identical in this scenario. And this is still the heaviest level to run in this game. Uh, that's not the prelude. And uh, you can tell it's doing great work. So we're going to go down here, get the bond point. And where's my... Uh... That's all I have. Okay, come on. Down. Okay. Yep. Uh, you're next. You're dead. Let's end you. Yep. Oh, one down here. I will get a picture. Dead. Go one more. Great. Let's get up and do this. So we got our armor over here. Let's take the picture, same as we did before. And boom. We're done with this one. So, same performance as on Linux. Alright. We're going to check out that the level Halo first. And uh, as you can see, well, 30 FPS, we're scanning around, we're all good to go, and everything's looking fine and dandy. Okay, 
And this is one of the hard ones to run, so usually when we get across this bridge, you're going to see some drops normally, I guess, in older builds, right? See, I keep up with every build. That's the point. Every build usually brings something to the table. So we're going to look up, over here, down over there, everything. Let's jump to the silent cartographer. Here we are. There's that drop that was on Linux, and we're heading in now. As you can see, we're holding 30. We're going to look to the beach. I'm going to keep looking back and forth. There is a drop with transition, but when we get to the beach, we're going to be in a full firefight, and that will really show us uh, the performance. So here we go. So the minute the firing starts, things are getting a little hairy. We are dropping 1 to 2 FPS, but that's to be expected. I'm not actually overclocked like I was on Linux. Boom. Now, the things that tank Halo the most is actually um, the particles and things. Not the amount of characters on screen, it's the freaking particles. Yep. And you're almost dead. Come here, come here. I'm going to shoot you in the ass. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Looking good so far. And that's it. The beach was the heaviest scene, and we got through the firefight fine. Um, when the 60 FPS mod comes out for this, I can't wait for that. That's work in progress at the moment. We should have no issues. If I overclocked probably like a few more hearts, we'd have no problems, but the beach is pretty good besides those random particle drops. So, uh, let's move on to something else. And we're back. So I noticed something. My recording process is actually dropping a few frames, which is annoying, but, uh, it's doing pretty good. Oh, wow. I missed that one. I just dropped off a cliff. That's bad. So we're going to go, well, we already got our hive back, so we're good. We don't really, really do that, but I guess we're going to go up uh, this way anyway, just so we can maybe hit some people over the head with something. Let's pull out the bat, see if we can find someone to kill. But we are holding 30, which is nice. And, oh, the water looks so weird. It looks like we're on acid. All right, B guys, where are you? I want to hit you. I forgot they're dead. Ow. Well then. Note to self. Don't go in there. So, walking around is smooth. Swinging the bat, smooth. I don't really have anybody to attack, so there's nothing I could do about that. So let's jump into the water. Swimming in the water is good. Even though the water is strange looking. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Where the hell do we go? We're going to go this way because there's some beetles up here. I guess we can hopefully kill. Ow. Oh, dude. Hello again. It's Mr. J. Hello, Scarecrow Birdie. So, conquer. Check. Full speed. Windows. We're on Windows 10, by the way. Let's move on. Now, as I said before, with Half-Life 2, um, yeah, we pretty much have full speed besides when we do something like this. Okay, but it seems to hold up pretty well these days, which is nice. So what does she want me to do? Is this the whole Mossman thing? Uh, these areas can be pretty heavy. Tons of enemies, things like that. Oh, we can get through now. Let's go. Uh, well, that was interesting. Checkpoints can still cause some lags, but on most times they don't. Let's get out a weapon. Now, destroy the box. See if some FPS drops. But most times, we're good. As you can see, we're getting around the same performance as Windows. So that's good. We're going to go into a dark area. Turn on the flashlight. 
and everything's holding up well. Make sure that you have your windows set and optimized to use certain emulators. It is very, very important because every emulator can use different sets of performance and variables and things like that. If you do not have these set, you can lose up to 30 FPS. Threaded optimization does not work for XEMU. This is very, very important. Uh, ooh, the last game that we have to test, I guess, is Crash. But I want actually want to use Crash Racing this time. So we're going over here like this. Shoot you in the face. Dude, leave me alone. Uh, I'm just a simple dude. So I already killed you. I'm going to grab my bolts. And... The uh, hard part's up next, I guess. Gonna grab that. So, this is where physics come in. Oh, come on. No. No. Let's try that corner. Can I get you? Hmm... Just try this. What about you? Let's see if I can get over here to get these boxes. Okay. Are you serious? Uh, yo, those are mine. And I just blew my chance of using that to get across. Great. All right, so we're going to move on to Crash Team Racing. I've decided not with Crash Team Racing. I decided instead Ninja Gaiden Black. Ready? First thing we're going to do is we're going to go this way. And we're going to get into a battle. Kill this dude. Oh, you're looking for an ass whooping. So everyone in there is dead. We had no FPS drop whatsoever. And we have to go back here because... Well, I gotta go put the... Mouth of this dude back, so... There we go. Here's the thing. Threaded optimization, believe it or not, actually works on Linux. With this emulator. It does not work on Windows. Uh, it might be a scheduler thing. Who knows? You know, I want to fight again. Can't wait till this comes to PC. Kill that dude. I can't tell. Is this like a... Yeah. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Crap, crap. I did a thing. Give me one second here. This entire layout is not very good. And... The fact that you can modify the GUI is bad. Yeah. 
There we go. I think we're done. So let's go out here, and I'm going to save. Because, honestly, I don't want to have to do that again. Uh, what can I say? Windows performance, Linux performance. For all the games that I did play, they're pretty much equal. Halo is the only one that really showed any minor drops. And it was only for those few seconds. So, for those who doubt that the performance is also good on Windows. Now you don't have to doubt. Now you know it's good on Windows. How does that feel? Maybe learn to optimize your PC a tad better, hop into the help channel of the uh, XMU Discord or whatever, and talk to some people, because I'm not the only one that has good performance on Windows. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit like. It really does help with the algorithm on YouTube. Subscribe. Join the community Discord, because every one of my new videos drops on Discord immediately thanks to the announcements channel and the Discord uh, YouTube bots. You'll never, ever miss a video. I'll see you guys next time.